It was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Milan against Paris Saint-Germain. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Kevin De Bruyne. And successfully cut out. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. No problems grabbing hold of that one. De Bruyne. Ronaldo. Ball played nicely. Cleared away comprehensively. Modric. Crave. Well, they keep passing away. Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. Chances on. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? So Milan get the ball moving once more. How will they react? Marcus Rashford. Kreif, Vinicius Jr. Now with Kreif. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. And there to intervene. And with that, the first half draws to a close. And the referee sounding the second half into action. PSG with the lead. Maguire. Good looking pass. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Griezmann gets himself into the attacking third with the ball at his feet. Just cutting off the supply. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Out of play then for a Milan throw. And it's a goal! Level again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Cristiano Ronaldo. And now Ronaldo with teammates in support. This is looking threatening. Must take the lead here. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Just ten minutes remaining here. And cleared away. And the goal kick will be next. And they're making a change. Five minutes remaining. And level pegging here. Kane. 
They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. Making progress. Erling Haaland! And that will be that. The two teams, as we saw, really doing their best to match each other in every area of the game. A share of the spoils from the Rossoneri angle. What did you think of that? Well, Derek, they are normally the better team, but that wasn't the case today because it was... ...to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Parma against Paris Saint-Germain. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Promising pass. And a throw-in forthcoming. Pele. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, as you can see, he gets there first, he makes good contact with the ball and finds the back of the net. That's a decent header. To get the ball moving again what effect will that goal have on PSG we're going to find out here cleared away comprehensively well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened So it's going to be a goal kick here. Kaká. Moving it forward. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Alderweireld, Oyar Sabal. Kane. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. This could level it. Harry Kane, master finisher. Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Into the second half then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. And teammates around him. In with a chance! Just wanted to get it out of there. Lionel Messi. Not away completely. And I think the threat has been averted. And he's through here. It's got to be! Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. Three changes in one go here for PSG. Disappointing for PSG to concede the goal. Now let's see if they can attack with vigour. PSG looking dangerous. Messi. And a chance to level it. It's opened up for him. It's going to be Neymar. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And 
and maybe they'll be able to level this up. Rashford! In it goes! Coley converts it! So back underway, dead level, 2-2. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Really good challenge. Level pegging, but can they change that? Kaká. Oh, fine save. And it remains all square. Well, he saved his team there. That's a big moment for the keeper. Well, he failed to get it away properly. to play for a Paris Saint-Germain throw-in. Promising avenue of attack favoured by Messi. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw-in here. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free-kick. still there good pressure high up the pitch so the final whistle and the end of an evenly fought contest but focusing on the hosts what about their performance well Derek they are normally the better team but that wasn't the case today because it was a below par display and they just have to switch their focus to the next match now and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And without doubt, a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's France against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Can they convert? De Bruyne. Cristiano Ronaldo. It did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Andrew Robertson. Ferenc Puskas. Here's Robertson. Pele. And moving the ball nicely. Pele. And he did what he had to do defensively. Well, they have the ball once more. And the man he's hoping to find is Messi. Teammates available. Well, the danger is still there. Well, nothing comes of it. Kaká. Must take the lead here. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. And a fine tackle. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Substitution it is for PSG. Well, underway once again, and the onus is on PSG to turn this match on its head.
And a tidy tackle. Takes some progress with the ball at his feet. And Messi in a good position. What can he and his teammates do? Messi. And the danger cleared. Dybala. Now they're on the scent of something positive. Rashford. Can they square the game? It's gone in. A goal for PSG beyond the goalkeeper to square things up. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Goal. So back underway. Paris They've leveled it at 1-1 here. Number 21, Paolo Dybala. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Robertson. comes of it could take the lead oh the crossbar is still reverberating cleared away Messi and winning it back and a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive but timely defending when it mattered Five minutes to go. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Very much the run of the mill that saves go. Paul Torres. And so the referee blows for the end of the contest. And France have to settle for a share of the spoils. Stuart, your reaction to their performance? Well, Derek, they are normally the better team, but that wasn't the case today because it was a below-par display and they just have to switch their focus to the next match now.